to Botox injections. TV audiences love watching ordinary people transform before their eyes. But for many makeover recipients, the changes are only skin deep. You see someone look better and you think it's this fairy tale and wow. And what you didn't really see was the deep psychological problem someone might be feeling inside. You have people with huge problems, great vulnerability. The Swan was a controversial reality show that aired from 2004 to 2005. Casting calls attracted thousands of women from all across America. The Swan took girls that were considered ugly ducklings and gave them a ton of plastic surgery to try to turn them into a swan. When you follow up with a lot of the contestants from The Swan, a lot of them said it did change their life in a positive way. They gained confidence. A lot of them got married. A lot of them got a better job. Do you have any regrets at all? None. No, 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 no regrets at all. I mean, it was fantastic. I got an opportunity of a lifetime to become the person I've always wanted to become. In 2004, Lori Arias was selected to be a contestant on season two of The Swan. I had lost 120 pounds on my own. I wanted a tummy tug because after losing all the weight, I had a Sharpay thing going on, you know. <laughs> Underneath her body image issues, the 34-year-old mother of two teenage sons was suffering from extreme emotional trauma. My husband had passed away, so I was kind of floundering everywhere, just trying to keep it together because I didn't know if I was going to like, kill myself. Really. I was in no condition to do reality television. Lori desperately wanted to get psychological support along with her physical transformation. I did think that the show could fix me psychologically because it appeared that it had fixed the girls psychologically from season one. They were glamorous and everything was fine. On these types of makeover shows, contestants are filmed going through a series of examinations right before surgery. Lori had a hard time with the process. I was on a big soundstage in granny panties with my stomach hanging out. I had to stand there in front of tons of people. Tons. So it was embarrassing. Lori was excited to receive the $300,000 worth of plastic surgery that she claims was provided by the show. I had a nose done, my eyes upper and lower, facelift, brow lift, a lip lift, breast augmentation, butt lift, a thigh tuck, lipo of the knees. I had my gums lasered off so the veneers would fit. I said tummy tuck, right? Oh, tummy tuck, main thing. But I had a great doctor, I have to say that. To capture honest reactions to their transformations, contestants claim they had to avoid looking at themselves before the big reveal. We had plastic dinnerware. They sprayed deodorant on the TVs and they took the mirrors out and stuff, so we didn't have any way to see ourselves. For many swans, the unveiling ceremony was a magical moment. I was so speechless. I was like, oh my gosh, I look nothing like I used to. I look so much better than what I was expecting to look like. This was my dream, and it came true. It actually was kind of incredible to watch these women go through this transformative surgery, and all of a sudden they came out blossoming. On TV, Lori seemed amazed by her dramatic makeover, but off camera, she says she panicked. When the reveal happened, I was shocked out of my mind. I could not believe that that was me, and so as soon as the camera stopped, I ran. I ran and I demanded my face back. Even though I was going through all the changes on this one, you're still yourself inside. It's the inside that needed to be fixed first. Although on-camera therapy was part of the show, Lori claims she was unable to fully resolve her deep-rooted issues. When the show first ended, at least I could still go out. I could do things. Probably around 08, my life started to decline. In 2008, four years after appearing on The Swan, Lori began seeing a psychologist who determined she had social anxiety, low self-esteem, extreme depression, bipolar disorder, and borderline personality disorder. I don't do anything. I don't go out. I don't brush my hair. I don't change my clothes. I don't shower. I don't even step on the porch. Today, Lori struggles with lupus and two other autoimmune conditions in addition to mental illness. I'm stuck in my own head. It's like my body and everything are in pause, but my brain is in fast forward, and I hate it. Now that I've gained 100 pounds back, I can see that I'm a prettier fat person. 
but the psychological damage from having every door open from the worst parts of my life and not having them closed is still with me. But for the surgery, I would do it again. Coming up. Her teeth had been